Hey everybody, so today I just thought I would do a little walk around video of our village, Kirilovo, in Yambol region. Um, it's the beginning of June and the weather is starting to get really hot now. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the village while it's still nice and green. Um, because in a month or two it's going to be parched and dry and yellow and not so nice to look at and it's going to be too hot to come walking as well. So yeah, enjoy guys. Just coming to the end of our little street here, our lane. Got two really nice neighbours here and here. They've got a great vegetable garden going on in there. And then we've got there's a cute little tree house just up here that Dylan's been up before. Three generations of family living in this house here. They're a really nice family. So this is the end of our, our sort of lane here. Well, if we carry on going down that way, our house is that way. Dylan's just decided he wants to put the bike in, so he's going off to put the bike um, back in the garden. And then we got a lane that way that goes off towards the reservoir. This is about a 10 minute walk. I did a video about that a couple of weeks ago about the walk to the reservoir and we've got a new road here it's about two years old it's quite posh to get a new road in your village you know it's up and coming when you start getting new roads new roofs things like that We've got a house just here on the corner, which has been for sale for forever, I think. Um, as you can see, it is in a pretty bad state, um, but it's, it's a good size, you know, and you can't see it because of all the, the overgrowth from the bush, but there's a massive barn at the back there. And I think the garden comes sort of to where that, about where that post is there. I think that's the garden. Um, but it's, you know, it's a good sized property and it's probably very, very, you know, affordable. I don't like to use the word cheap, but I'd imagine it'd be very affordable to buy that. Even if you just wanted to use the, you know, the barn space in the back there, it'd be worth it. It's just at the top of the village now. It's a little bungalow here. Um, I don't know if it is for sale, but it's been empty for some time and um, yeah I just thought I'd show you sort of really you know what to expect from a, if you were looking to buy a, an affordable sort of older property you know a little peak it's quite a big garden but yeah like I said I don't know if it's for sale but it's all locked up um, yeah, little bungalow. Can't really see it, I'll show you in a minute more detail. But there's a little church, we've got a little church just there. And then just up the hill here, we have an English um, father and son and they run a campsite just up there. There's our house just there. Can't see it that well because the big white van parks in front. And then we got this little property next door that we're hoping to buy. We're hoping to buy this soon.
So Kirilovo, it's, it's quite a small village, Kirilovo. Um, we've only got one shop, one bar, and we have a small park as well. But it's only about 10 minutes outside of Elhovo town, which is really, really handy. Especially with having to do, you know, the school run every morning. Um, obviously, Dylan's off school now, he's just finished for the summer, so he's got three months off, which is nice, no more school runs. Oh, yeah, I love those, you see a stork! Yeah, look! Stork's nest, there comes another one. Oh. I wonder if they've got some babies in there. The sheep. Look at those sheep. And the shepherd. <laughs> Another nice property over here, which I don't know if it's a sale again, but it's all locked up. Been locked up for a while. But somebody must be managing it because the grass is all, it's all short. A good friend of ours lives here, Mitko. Zdrasti! <laughs> He's got his wood delivered already. <laughs> Shit, <yeah. That's> <laughs> Say hello to Mick, go. No, not, not today. Not today. <laughs> Dusty. <Dusty>. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mitko's donkey up there. Yeah. What's donkey in Bulgarian, Dylan? Magari. Magari. Yeah. That's it. Well done. <laughs> It's like a little walk to the shop. Oh. Hard work push, pushing this push up the hill. But it's a nice walk back, especially after a couple of drinks. <laughs> Not that I get a time to do that these days. We used to go to the bar quite a lot before it closed. I'll show you our little bar in a minute. So this is our little church, just here. Mom, does someone get married at church? Uh, yeah, I'd imagine so. I think we've seen, um, I think we have seen people get married there once. little church. We went there for Easter at midnight. We saw someone get married at the church at um... the place where Nanny stays. Oh yeah, it's Sosa Pole, yeah, the yeah. church in Sosa Pole. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Someone that was nice. Yeah, they did. This is our square. What square? This is the square called the Village Square. Yeah. This here. So this big building here is our post office and Village Hall, and there's a library just upstairs as well. Can I say something? Go on then, quickly. Because I ride my my new bike out on here all on my own. Yeah. Here is our bar, which is no longer open, sadly. But this is our old little bar. We've had some really good times here. It's nothing special, but it's the people, not the place, I always say. Yeah, I miss our old bar. I hope it reopens one day. Maybe someone will open it up into a cafe one day. Maybe I will. <laughs> Who knows? This is the mayor's building over here. Sorry, big fat finger in the way. That's the mayor's building. There used to be an old shop downstairs, but that's that's gone. 
Um, basically, we had, I'll show you in a minute, but we had a new um, shop built and I think it put all the other shops out of business. Um, you can get everything there. There's a house just over here which has been for sale for a while, but rumour has it that he's asking too much money. That's why it's still there. There's quite a big garden at the back. And it's in, it's in decent condition-ish, but I think he's asking too much. I'm not sure how much. We know most of the people in the village. There's quite a bit of work going on in here. I won't be able to push the push chair on that bit because of the tree, mate, so I'll have to stick to the road. Well, I'm small, because now I can fit through here. You can fit through there, yeah. Yeah. This is a very old mud house here. <laughs> I love how they've painted the front, but not the side. It's quite a tidy little village really, they do look after it, mostly. Just coming up to the shop now. You can fit through there too! No, I went round it. <laughs> this is, this is our shop that. here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a really nice view down there. What did you get from the shop? What are these? What are they sharks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're sharks. Shark sweets. Yeah, I love sharks. Sweets on a weekday, naughty us. So this is the shop. I won't take you inside, but this is what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> Got myself an ice cream. So that's our shop there. It's only been there for about three years. Let me just show you the little park. It's just up here. Maxi, Maxi, boo boo. Hello. This house here is the mayor's house. This is the mayor's house. Yeah, that belongs to the mayor. He's a really good guy, the mayor. Do anything for anybody, for the reason. Here's the park. I'm going to play in the park right now. Okay, go on then. Come on, we want you to come. It's a nice little park. Come on. It's not terribly exciting, for, especially for the older kids, but it's nice to have something here. Some of the villagers don't even have a park, so it is nice. I'm not sure what this little green building here was. Maybe it was a little restaurant one day, or a school, maybe it was a kindergarten. I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, there is a, a sort of bar restaurant just here. Been there a few times, that's all right. Um, but it's not the same, you know, it's not the same as the old bar. Okay, so the battery's not going to last much longer, so I'll, um, I'll finish up now. Just walking back, back home, back down the hill. We might pop into our friend Mitko's quickly, he lives just over the road there. Um, yeah, we've got a, a creamery, a village creamery just down the bottom here near our house where you can get fresh um, cascavel cheese, you can get raw milk from there. And it's really nice, every Christmas they gift you with two blocks of cheese. This is a nice touch, you know. So I hope you enjoyed this walk around video of Kirilovo. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment if you so wish. 
Yeah, ciao, ciao.